All right, look, you'd think that a credit score really isn't that big of a deal until you realize it can save you up to $100,000. Whoa, whoa. I've maintained an 800 or above both on Vantage score, right here's the proof, as well as FICO score, more proof. But I'm gonna explain in my video how you can build yourself up from a 600 or 700 credit score up to an 800 or more, even though you may not be at 800, if you have a 760 or higher, that's actually a good credit score. Now, if you're below that, that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. But why is it so important? Now, if you talk to Dave Ramsey, he's gonna say it's an I love debt score. It's a dumb idea. It's not good at all, but why is it important? Consider these two facts. First, you're gonna save a lot of money on your mortgage. You're gonna get the best credit card offers and get ready for this one, even a job that you just recently applied for could be actually looking at your credit to see if they're going to extend that job offer to you. So let's talk about two different people and they want to buy a house and they're going to get a mortgage worth $300,000. It's going to be a 30 year fixed rate mortgage to buy their dream home. Now we got Jane here. Jane has an 800 credit score and you have the second person, Joe, who has a 625 credit score. Now both are going to get the same mortgage of $300,000 in the same state with the same amount of money down. But Joe is going to end up paying an additional one one hundred and eleven thousand six hundred and seventy three dollars all because of his credit score that's a lot of money i don't know about you but one hundred eleven thousand dollars i would love to save that amount of money any day so here's this free tool that you can get i'll link this one also down below so you can hop over to this to basically plug in your own numbers based on your current situation now right here you can see this loan savings calculator and the impact of your credit score so if you look here we got that 30 year fixed mortgage rate uh we're gonna say that we're gonna live in let's say california i know that's kind of expensive that's where you get these very expensive houses but let's say you're gonna get a 300 thousand dollar mortgage and then what we're going to do is we're going to select our credit score now first of all look over here to the right hand side you can immediately see there's a big difference you have all the way up from like 620 you're going to get a 7.5 percent apr right now but if you have that 760 as i mentioned earlier all the way up to an absolute perfect 850 you're going to have a 5.79 percent apr what a big difference just in that alone let's go ahead and calculate as if we have that low credit score that joe has we're going to hit calculate and check out the difference the total interest paid if you have that terrible credit $444,678 over the course of the loan but if you have that perfect credit score, you're only paying 333,000. That's where I got that $111,000 a little bit earlier in the video. Check it out. I mean, if you could just bump up your score, even from like that 700 range to that 760, you're still saving a good amount of money. So now that we talked about all the depressing stuff, how do we improve our credit score? Now there are three major factors that you can start right today after you're done watching this video to start improving that credit score. In general, there's actually six categories that make up your credit score, but I'm talking about the three big ones. The ones that can give us the most momentum into the future to start moving your credit score upwards starting today. And just like investing that we talk about here on the channel, you wanna start today because starting today and being consistent over that period of time will get you so much further ahead into the success that you deserve in your future. Now, 100% payment history is a good sign to lenders that you're doing very good at paying back your bills every Every single month without going into default that's the important thing when that bill comes due make sure you pay it off and make sure you pay it on time so that way you can continue to get this as close to 100 as absolute possible now a single 30 or 60 day missed payment can be easy to recover from but it can hurt your score significantly if you go 90 days or longer and you missed a payment that's going to have significant impacts and if you're above 90 days it can often get sent to a collection agency that's not what we want make sure you pay even if it's just the minimum payment to keep your history as clean as possible now that's why it's important to start today though because what you want to do is get everything caught up and stay consistent with it because over time one two and especially the key term of seven years is important once you reach seven years all that stuff tends to start rolling off i know that sounds like a long time but the difference is if you don't get started today what's going to look like seven years from now anyway now in order to calculate this all you do is you look at your total payments let's say you have 120 payments and let's say you made three a little bit later than you should well what you you would do is you would take 120 minus three divided by 120 and that is your payment on time percentage next let's talk about derogatory marks number two that makes the most impact on your credit score this one can stay on your credit report anywhere from seven to ten years so very important to make sure you're keeping an eye on this if you do have anything that was sent to collections or you currently have a collection 
try to get that thing cleared as quickly as possible. Do some negotiation with the debt collector to try to say, look, I can settle for X amount of pennies on the dollar, nickels on the dollars, quarter on the dollars. The point is get it in writing, get it in your email and get that paid off and cleared out as quickly as possible. Once this clears off your record, your credit score will go up without a doubt. Let's talk about the big dog, the master of all of this, the thing that we can easily control. And that is number three, credit card utilization. Now, here's a trick with this. If you carry your balance until the statement date on the credit card, that credit card company issues information to the credit score reporting agencies, Equifax and TransUnion, Experian, things like that. The higher percentage of your credit card balance that you're using that you have in debt, the worse that's going to be. Your goal is to stay at least under 30% of total utilization. 10% is even better to get the best score possible in this particular category. Now, there's a couple ways we can work this. The first thing you can do is if you do pay off your credit card in full every single month, try for a couple months paying it before the statement date. So don't wait for American Express or Chase or whoever you have your credit card company with. Don't wait for them to send you the statement. Go in online, reconcile your statement, and pay it off in full before the statement date. That way, when you get a statement, it likely will be zero or a very low amount. That way, when that's reported to the credit bureau, it will actually show as a zero or a very low balance, giving you a lower utilization percentage, which makes a significant impact on your credit score. In fact, this is the one that you want to start today, because if you start to control on this one today, you're going to see a little bit more movement a little bit quicker than the other two major impacts that we talked about earlier. Now, if you want more great information on personal finance, check out this video next and we'll see you on the next video.